Welcome back and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm sharing my summer body skincare routine with you. So I just got out of the shower and I always shower in the mornings. I work out in the mornings. I sweat a lot when I work out. So I always shower in the mornings. However, in summer, where we live, it is incredibly hot. So in summer, I also frequently shower again in the evening. Now, if I just spend time inside in the air-conditioned house, I don't shower again. But if I spend any time outside, then I have to take another shower at night. So in the shower, I use this right here. This is by Kopari and it is their coconut latte body wash. This is really beautiful. It smells delicious. It is really hydrating. So I have been using this for quite a while. And then to shave under my arms and my legs. I have been trying IPL actually under my arms. I have been using the Faustina home IPL device under my arms. The jury is still out, so I'm still shaving. And I'm not using it on my legs because the hair on my legs, just like on my arms, is very blonde. So it doesn't work for that. So to shave my legs, and currently still under my arms. I use the Chic 3 and there's a hair on it. This, in my opinion, is the best razor ever and I've tried a lot of them. What I love about this one, first of all, you can replace the cartridges and I have stocked up, I have several of these because unfortunately, this one is no longer available. If I can find it, I will link it down below, but I don't think it is available any longer. But aside from being able to replace the cartridges and not having to throw the whole thing away, this gives me the closest shave ever and I never ever cut myself. So, and this, in my opinion, is the best razor, but I would love to know if you have a favorite razor, let us know down below. And I don't use any shaving cream or anything. I just use this with a bit of water and my body wash. And then after the shower, I have been using this right here. This is the Renew Body Serum. And if you've been here for a while, you know I love, love, love the Renew Face Serum. I actually have it right here. I have talked about this in a bunch of videos. I think this is my sixth or seventh of these. But the body serum is very similar to the face serum. In fact, several of you have told me that you use this on your face. It is very similar in consistency and ingredients. So this is an NAD serum. And NAD, I have talked about a bunch on this channel. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is a molecule we have in almost every cell in our body, including our skin cells. And the idea with putting NAD on the skin is to have our skin act more like younger skin. So this has NAD, it also has NR, NMN, which are NAD precursors, I wanna show you. So it comes out very watery. And I just rub this between my hands and then oh, I feel so good to put on. It feels just like a drink of water. So it has NR, NMN, which are NAD precursors and it has a bunch of other beautiful ingredients. I am <laughs> losing my towel. Okay, <laughs> towel is fixed. So this is, like I said, beautiful. Unfortunately, it is not inexpensive. So I just use one pump and apply it sparingly all over my body. Now, depending on how hard it is, this might be all I use. But my skin is feeling just a little bit dry because I just finished the bio repeal for the body. I made a video on it. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. But the bio repeal is a buffered TCA peel. I have been doing it on my face and recently did a series on my body. Absolutely love it. And it is something that is going to stay in my routine. But because I just finished my series, my skin is feeling just a bit dry. So I'm also going to apply some moisturizer. And I have been using this right here. This is by Sanitas. And it is their vitamin C body lotion. 
I actually also use the Sanitas Vitamin C Face Lotion and I love it. So this is quite similar actually to the face lotion. It is very light in consistency. It has a beautiful sort of tangerine smell. And what I love about it is that it is very hydrating, but it also high up on the list of ingredients has tetrahexyl decal ascorbate which is a vitamin C derivative. And of course, this towel does not want to stay on. And of course we know vitamin C is a great antioxidant and coupled with our sunscreen can help protect us a bit better from UV radiation. So I love that this has vitamin C, a vitamin C derivative in it. And like I said, it is very hydrating. Normally, of course, I will also apply some on my legs. And then if I shower again at night, I actually use a different body lotion. Now my skin, though now it is quite humid and it is not as dry, but my skin always needs something after I shower. Otherwise it is just very dry. So at night I like to use a different lotion if I happen to shower at night. If I don't shower at night, then sometimes I use these lotions during the day if I know I'm just going to stay inside. Both of these are alpha hydroxy acid lotions. This one is by Paula's Choice and it is her 10% alpha hydroxy acid body lotion. And then this one is a German brand. It's Dermasense and it is also an alpha hydroxy acid body lotion. And alpha hydroxy acids, of course we know, help with exfoliation. They also can help a bit with collagen production. The reason I use these at night is that I don't necessarily want to exfoliate and then go into the sun. So like I said, if I know I'm just staying inside, then sometimes I use these during the day, but normally I only use them if I happen to shower again at night. Both of these are beautiful. I go back and forth between these two. And then for deodorant, I have been using this for quite a while now. This is by Kopari. And it is the coconut oil scent. I love this deodorant. I love the way it smells. This is aluminum free and it goes on clear, which I really love. So no white residue on your shirts. It doesn't keep me from sweating, unfortunately, but it has such a strong smell, a lovely strong smell that I never feel I have any body odor. I just smell this throughout the day. So I really, really like this deodorant. And then I have a self-tanner right here. Now I'm not much of a self-tanning girl, but every once in a while, I like to put a bit of self-tanner on my legs, which are quite pale now. And I also have developed a lot of broken capillaries on my legs. So I feel using self-tanner just helps camouflage that a little bit. So this one right here is the Tahitian Gold from South Seas. Now, honestly, I have not tried too many self-tanners. I have in the 80s and I still have bad memories from it. But recently, I haven't tried too many self-tanners. This one is okay. It has a lovely smell. It has sort of a tropical smell. However, once the tropical smell dissipates, I can still smell the self-tanner and I can smell that for days after using it. Even though I sweat, I shower, I can still smell it, which is another reason I only put it on my legs because I am not crazy about the self-tanner smell. So if you have a self-tanner you absolutely love that doesn't smell like a self-tanner, doesn't get streaky, please let us know down below. But this one is okay. It doesn't turn to yellow. It doesn't develop any streaks, but I'm just not crazy about the self-tanner smell once the lovely tropical smell goes away. So this I don't use that often. I've had this tube for quite a while and it will last me quite a while. But like I said, every once in a while, I like to put a bit of self-tanner on my legs just to camouflage those broken capillaries and have my legs be a little bit less pasty. And then the only other thing I will do as far as body care is about once a week, I take a bit of brown sugar, pour it in a bowl, add some olive oil, mix that up nicely, and then I use that as a body scrub. And it makes a beautiful body scrub. 
it's a bit messy in the shower but it leaves my skin just so soft and so hydrated feeling so to me i don't see any point in buying a body scrub brown sugar and olive oil or you could use coconut oil or any other oil you really like makes a beautiful body scrub and talking about scrubbing i forgot to mention the very first thing i do in the mornings i brush my teeth and then i dry brush my body and i have been doing that for years and years and years and the reason i do it first of all i like that it helps exfoliate my skin but I also like the circulation it creates and it wakes me up in the morning. So I start at my feet, I brush up towards the heart, I do my arms, I do under my arms. It takes a minute or two. And like I said, I have been doing it for years and years and I absolutely love it. I have my dry brush right here. It's a bit gross looking because I have been using it for so long. But dry brushing is something I absolutely love, like I said, I love the increased circulation it gives me and it wakes me up in the morning. Oh, I almost forgot. Of course, I also use sunscreen on my body if I go outside. Now, if I stay in my house, I will actually apply sunscreen on my face, but not on my body because I wear t-shirts and clothes. But if I go outside, I have two different sunscreens I really like. The first one is by Alta MD, and this is their UV lotion broad spectrum SPF of 30. So this is a combination sunscreen. It has a zinc oxide, which we know is a broad spectrum filter protecting us from UVA and UVB, and it has octinoxate. And I think they put the octinoxate in there just to make this a bit more cosmetically elegant. So this is something I use if I just walk around outside, if I go into town or something, but I'm not planning on sweating. And I'm trying to get some out of there. And it is a beautiful sunscreen. Actually, my husband, it is a chore to get my husband to wear sunscreen. He actually wears this. He asked for it the other day. He said, where's that sunscreen? I want to put it on. So that means a lot. So it looks like it would leave a white cast, but it actually wraps in beautifully and then just gives you a bit of a, a bit of a glow. So this is what I use. Like I said, if I just go into town, if I'm not planning on sweating, but if I exercise or go to the beach, then I have another one I really like. And I'm sorry, this one looks gross. I have been using this for a while, but it is the cooler. And this is the mineral body sunscreen, SPF 30. This smells delicious. It is the tropical coconut. It smells so, so good. This is a mineral sunscreen. So it is just zinc oxide. It has 14.2% zinc oxide. So again, protecting us from UVA and UVB. But the reason I don't wear this all the time is that though it is lovely and has a beautiful smell, it does leave just a bit of a white cast. And it feels a bit heavier than the l d Now, it doesn't look too white right now, but if you apply enough to actually get the SPF, which is stated on the bottle, this does leave a bit of a white cast. So these are the two sunscreens I will use, again, if I'm either just walking around or if I'm planning on sweating. This towel is <laughs> giving me a lot of problems. But anyways, this is my body care routine. And I have to admit, it hasn't always been this extensive. I used to really, really neglect anything from here on down. And I can see it now. I can see how much sun damage I have accumulated. So I'm trying to give the skin on my body just as much love as the skin on my face. I would love to know in the comments some of your favorite body care products. Please share them down below. Any questions or comments, of course, share them down below. Thank you so, so much for being here. I always appreciate the time you spend with me. Until next time, bye.